Hello, this is Dave Enyart. This is the Sprint 5 Hyperledger demo for the Ledger component. First, I wanted to just show some of the work that we're doing in our Jira backlog. Uh, this Sprint, we have replaced the RocksDB uh, embedded key value data store with uh, LevelDB. Um, we've also added support for CouchDB, and we got that working in an end to end flow through the V1 architecture. Okay, so the um, not much to show on the uh, level DB replacement. That's just the data store uh, underneath the fabric by default. Uh, nothing really visual to see there. So I'm going to focus this demonstration on the couch DB aspects and running a tra transaction end to end and uh, deploying chain code against couch DB state database. Okay, so I've written up instructions uh, here so that people can follow along as, as well with the demo offline. Um, but first we need to start our uh, CouchDB database that's in the Vagrant development environment by default. So I'll go over here and all we need to do is do uh, uh, CouchDB start. Okay, so there's a Docker container uh, for CouchDB. Uh, that started up the first time you run through this. Uh, it'll actually download the CouchDB Docker from Docker Hub. Okay, and then secondly, we need to switch the uh, fabric to use uh, the state database of CouchDB instead of LevelDB. So we do that in the core.yaml. State database CouchDB and it is local running at port 5984 uh, and for now there's uh, no security enabled yet uh, so we leave the username and password empty. Okay now let's go start up our fabric starting with the order. Okay and then secondly we will start up our peer itself okay uh, so now let's uh, deploy the chain code and I've got uh, marbles chain code ready in fact I've updated it for v1 uh, it's a couple small updates to get it compatible with version 1 fabric uh, I've also done some things like making sure each of the documents uh, stored, each of the objects stored uh, in the marbles chain code is a JSON document. Uh, I've also added a doc type to each of the structures. So for example, when we're looking in the state database, we can tell which type of object each of the documents are. So we'll see uh, a marble document uh, eventually and a couple other documents such as the um, trades document and the marvels index document. Okay, so to deploy the chain code, here's the command that we will run. Okay, so it took about a minute uh, for that to download from GitHub, uh, but I, I can go back up in my peer and I can see uh, that we've got the uh, lifecycle chain code did in fact deploy uh, the marbles chain code and that is now saved actually in uh, our ledger and our state database so if we go over to uh, the CouchDB UI uh, we can see that when we brought the peer up it created this system database and if we see what's in there it's interesting we can see actually the lifecycle chain code um, itself and it's got um, a, uh, a record for the marbles chain code that got deployed and in the init function of marbles there's a couple of things that happen uh, it, a marble index is created and a open trades index is created these are both uh, null so we can see the JSON documents here for the marble index uh, and the trades uh, they're both null uh, because there's no marbles at this point yet. 
And so let's actually do something interesting like uh, create a marble. Okay, so let's create a marble and assign that to Tom at first. Okay, we can see we we returned. This means simulation execution happened successfully, uh, and it's in ordering right now. And here it comes from ordering, and it has created a block. So again, if we go over to the Couch Database and look at the documents in there again, and I'll scroll to the end, and we can see uh, here is our Marble 1 uh, that we created. It's blue. Uh, it is assigned to Tom as the owner. Okay, so our marble has been created on the ledger. It's in the state database. Uh, this is the current value in the state database that we're looking at for marble one. And now we're going to call another chain code function to uh, transfer this marble from Tom to Jerry. Okay, so there's a chain code function called set owner. And we're going to call that and passing in marble, marble one and Jerry. Okay, the simulation is completed, it's in ordering again, and uh, the block will be coming down back to the pier. Uh, and there it is. So we see commit success, create a block. Uh, and so another transaction has occurred. And again, let's go look at the documents in the state database. And we see Marble 1 has in fact now been assigned to Jerry. Okay, so now that the data is in CouchDB as the state database, the interesting aspect is that you can query this data unlike the embedded uh, key value database, uh, which is level DB. So Couch has uh, a query API. In fact, they call it a uh, find API. And it has uh, the ability to run queries similar to SQL select statements, uh, but the syntax is different. So here is a query. Um, to select um, marble documents that are owned by Jerry. And if Jerry happened to own multiple uh, marbles, uh, we'd see multiple of them come back here. And there we go. We see uh, the marble did, in fact, come back uh, because the owner uh, was Jerry. We got a match there. Uh, notice also that we don't have an index uh, on this. So by default, in CouchDB, we can, we can do the queries. Uh, but they're not necessarily going to be efficient uh, until you create an index. So in future uh, iterations, we'll be uh, working on the indexes. Uh, we'll be finishing out the support for both LevelDB and CouchDB. Uh, and we're also going to be uh, working to integrate these types of queries uh, into the fabric. So for example, to run these types of queries from chain code and even from uh, query APIs uh, sitting on the pier. Okay, uh, that's it for Sprint 5. Uh, we'll see you around next time. Bye-bye.